Hey, Dave Stoblin here, talking to all you mathletes. Let's do a little discussion on removable discontinuities. Let's say, for example, that we have this function right here. Now, I don't have my calculator with me, but if you were to graph this, it would look something like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. It would look something like that. And you're probably thinking, that's pretty weird because that looks like a straight line, and yet this is a second degree equation. It's a, uh, you know, it's a, a parabola. It should be curvy. So let's do the following. I always find it helpful to um, factor this. Oh, you know what else I'm going to say? Look at at 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. We should have an asymptote here. But you know what? We don't get one. All right, let's figure out why. Let's factor the numerator. x and x, two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to positive 1. So plus 3 minus 2, I think that's it. All right, so what do we know? From our past experience, we know that the numerator um, zeros are going to give us x-intercepts or roots. So negative 3 is going to give us a 0. And then at 2, um, 1, 2, we should have a 0. But again, if you do this on your calculator, it ain't there. And if you plug in a 2 down here, you should get a vertical asymptote because you're divided by 0. But you know what? It's not there either when you look on your calculator. So something weird is happening. And here's what it is. These two terms are the same. And so what happens is essentially they cancel out. And what's left? Y equals mx plus b. It crosses the y at positive 3. The slope is 1. So it goes you know, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, up 1, so forth. So you end up with a straight line. And... Um, you also have the 0 at 3. But even though these things cancel out, they're a still a part of the function. And so the 0 for this is x equals 2. And when you put a 2 in here and a 2 in here, you get 0 divided by 0. And anytime you divide by 0, that's undefined. So what happens is you don't have an asymptote. You end up with a whole which is also known as a removable discontinuity. So that's the trick. If you see matching zeros top and bottom, you get a hole.